Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. Hello, Pisces. This is another love reading for you. The collective energies of Pisces who are going to be resonating with this asked for this particular deck, which is the Mystical Moments Tarot. have the Four of Swords, the Nine of Wands. If you are new here, welcome. You got the Five of Swords here. If you are a returner, welcome back, my friend. Now what I plan on doing is, um, since I'm getting close to 9,000 subscribers, I am going to be giving away to one lucky winner a short mini read and I will be putting out a little video talking about how to enter. So make sure that you are subscribed if you have not already so you can get that notification. I generally do it every so often. Oh, I love this deck. So nice balls, I love it. The imagery is absolutely amazing. All right, so this is you, this is them, this is the storyline. The overall <clears throat> energy of this is the Page of Pentacles. So it's very appropriate for the time this reading is done. Beautiful spring. Now, of course, flip these two as it resonates with your storyline. You have the Four of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Your person has the Two of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. And since I am a medium, a psychic medium, I don't always go with the specific meaning of each card. I will go with what spirit um, calls me to bring up for those who need to hear this healing message. So it's definitely with this four of cups, you're trying to, or four of swords, you're trying to kind of rest after some kind of a battle, some kind of something that was very exhausting to you. And you're feeling a little scarred up by it. You want this to work and you want this to continue to bloom. Your person here has the Two of Wands. They're definitely looking into the future and wanting to build something with you. Now here's the Five of Pentacles. This is what I call the soulmate twin flame connection. One where one is left out in the cold, the other is left out in the cold as well. You know, and there's flowers all around here indicating that there is still a lot of growth and potential here. Now, even with this five of pentacles, there is a flower. So both of you have gone through something here. And with the Knight of Cups, they definitely want to guard their heart, but they also want to give a lot of love to you. Beautiful, the Ten of Cups. So you are resting and still manifesting this Ten of Cups here with your person. With the Nine of Wands comes the Eight of Pentacles. So you've been working very hard, very diligently. And I feel like you're taking one step at a time. You understand that Rome was not built in a day. And you have enough passion, if need be, because of this Four of Wands, or Four of Swords here. You know how to start again, if need be. With the Two of Wands, here comes the Four of Pentacles. Your person's trying to balance things out. Keeping real expectations on what to do to move forward. So both of you are very practical minded and very um, methodical in your thinking and your movements. 
With the Five of Pentacles is the Two of Pentacles. You know, even though your person feels like they're being left out in the cold here, they're still working on the finances. They're still keeping things balanced and in the physical. With the Knight of Cups comes the Queen of Pentacles. Both of you are very, very practical people. It's like you guys are so alike that being so alike can trigger the two of you. Or both of you see a way forward, but not always agreeing on what that way is. So here is the death card comes the two of swords. So death is a death and a new beginning, beginning of a new cycle. But there's a stalemate here. I feel like you guys are disagreeing on something. And with this wish fulfillment card comes the six of pentacles, equal give and take, being practical. I and mean, the word just keeps coming up over and over and over again, practical, practical. So there's patience that needs to be involved here with the star card. So there's great hope. There's great love between the two of you. What I'm hearing from spirit, it's like you guys are so practical that sometimes emotions are not displayed. I think both of you are kind of used to the, your, your partner being more emotional, more... Yeah, emotionally and water bound, but here it's more practical minded and both of you are kind of like, Ugh, where's the balance here? But you are very well suited. With this page of pentacles here comes the moon card. Yeah, I feel like both of you are, you think you're a good pair, but you are both concerned about the ability of genuine emotional communication. Now here is the emperor. Grounded, stable, prosperous. Okay. Now if this is resonating with you, please make sure you give us a thumbs up Pisces so others can hear this healing message. Now what is it that is the prevailing, okay, ostentation. I mean, both of you are very practical. You're very, very much into material things, material goods. You know, it's so interesting. This is an interesting reading where both of you are so practical minded that the other one goes, it's like, gosh, I wish the other one was a little bit more emotional a little bit more in their heart instead of their head. Both of you are so alike. You know, and both of you have a, a heavy concentration on making sure that you're protected. You have enough money to, you know, experience the good life. And accumulating riches. Now, what is holding the two of you back here? Indecision. Okay. What is that indecision about? <laughs> That's interesting. You know, it's the restlessness card. And both of you... <laughs> need that other emotional component. And when you don't get it, it brings this kind of boredom to the plate, you know, and here it's, you know, kind of a stalemate. It's like, well, maybe we're too much alike. You know, because both of you are all about achievement. You guys might have even, you know, met at work. You know, you're very much into convention. Now, let's move into this. I 
Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I feel like you guys have definitely tried to poo this relationship and go, eh, yeah, too boring. We're too much alike. There's not a whole lot of excitement here, but there's somewhere where you guys keep getting pulled back together. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Deception and attraction. Someone is wearing a, a false self mask in this relationship. Now, guides, tell me more about that. Mm. So both of you are not really communicating well to each other about the, the indecision, the, you know, the need for that attraction where someone's going to be practical minded, but then somebody else is going to be like, oh my gosh, it's so romantic. Let's sniff the flowers. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like, oh, how is our financial situation looking today, my dear? Now, how can they move past this? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, guys, tell me more about this. I feel like either unbeknownst to you or them, and I'm feeling more it's your person, has um, found someone of interest, someone who sparks that emotional um, sensitivity that is lacking within this relationship. There could also be religious factors, but I don't really think that's, that's one of the factors, but it's not. It's not as much as the um the connection being somewhat boring for the both of you healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay so what i'm hearing here is that there's religious factors but there's also something where it's you're practical minded because of the culture that you live in and it's very much expected for you to be financially successful and have degrees and you know yada 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 and it's kept your emotional self down you know all the expectations here and you might be aware and you know flip the storyline as it reads this could be someone else that's entered into your sphere where you're like wow they're so exciting and they're emotional i think what this is really going into is this is asking you to become more aware of your own emotional self. Because to always be so grounded and, you know, fixated on finances and how do we look as a couple? What are we wearing? What do we drive? You know, all of that kind of BS that means nothing in the end because you can't take that stuff with you anyway. feel like you desperately want to explore yourself more you know and this relationship could have been the catalyst to help you grow and learn whether you stay with this person or not I don't necessarily think that this is over between the two of you I think this is a new chapter and being more um, emotionally available to each other is going to mean more than you can ever imagine right now. And I know that can be a scary thing, but you know, when true love comes knocking, says this is the romance of a lifetime. And I'm not saying this current relationship is, I'm saying a true love is you. Like where, where are you in your love equation? Because both of you are so emotionally shut down or non-existent. You know, it's interesting because I'm feeling this person here really wants um, they want more from you 
but they don't think that you're capable of it just like they don't think they're capable of it. This is a very interesting dynamic. So I'm definitely going to take this one Pisces into an extended. This is one that needs a lot of unpacking. Now my extendeds are a little different than most. It's $5 for this reading. It's a subscription. So it renews every month and you get to watch this one as well as all of my other extended readings in my Patreon library. So I'm going to be going into deeper into your person, into you, and you know what this new love is about. This new love could be the two of you re rekindling a, a new love between the two of you. Because I do feel that there is a, a very committed energy here between the two of you, but you guys are boring each other to death. You know, and then there is the card of reconciliation here. So... For those of you who do not want to join in the extended, you know, know that we've unpacked the part where you, this, the most important takeaway for you is you need to assess your emotional state and start digging deeper in how you feel about things, not just how they look on the surface or how they please the family, okay? All right, you guys, I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye for now.